New research shows soaring gas prices and the struggling economy are impacting Americans' vacation plans, but it also shows you're a resilient bunch. We're a nation of problem solvers, and a new survey by the online travel site Expedia would seem to confirm that, at least when it comes to vacations. Joining us now is travel expert Ann Taylor Herzl, who writes the Hip Travel Mama blog. She's teamed up with Expedia to share tips on traveling and saving money. And it looks like Americans aren't letting hard times get too much in the way of their vacation plans, does it? No, actually, it's great news. Uh, what we're finding from the Expedia survey is that people are actually not giving up their vacations, but they're getting smarter and savvier about taking them and finding great deals. Another interesting insight from the survey was that people are looking at the great American road trip making a comeback. So if you have memories of your kids and family when you were younger, cruising around, uh, road trips, those are definitely things that people are looking and thinking about this year. And finally, technology like these smartphones and sites like Expedia and my blog, hiptravelmama.com, social networks like Facebook, all great resources for finding great value on trips this year. So let's talk about being smarter about vacation planning. How do we do that? Well, there's a lot of ways. One is using the tools at hand. So, you know, apps to help you save money, find last minute hotel deals. You can also turn to your social networks. 50% of people in the survey said that they actually look to friends and family to make decisions on where to go and where to stay. And being flexible is probably the biggest thing that I would say is to be flexible on where you want to go and when you can travel. And that will allow you to get a last minute deal that you may not have had the opportunity to get in the first place. You know, and the return of the road trip surprises me with mm. gas prices being as high as they are. Yeah. How do you think it's making a comeback? Well, a couple of things. One, road trips are uh, really easy to take. What we saw from the study is that people are taking actually shorter road trips, which means that they're saving gas money. So even if gas prices are high, um, they're still saving gas by not taking long road trips, but shorter ones closer to home. And the second thing is road trips really provide a lot of flexibility. One, they can be more cost effective for a lot of people than flying. And they can also provide greater uh, flexibility in terms of when you go. So, you, you know, you could cancel or book at the last minute and really not get any of those penalties or fees that you get from flying. And we know that families are taking that great American road trip, and I'm sure they're visiting some of those popular landmarks uh, in the U.S. Where are they going? Yes. So think about those quintessential American dream trips to take with your family. I just think about taking my kids to New York City to see the Statue of Liberty, uh, the Washington Monument, the White House, uh, head west to the Grand Canyon, <clears throat> hike the Grand Canyon. Really heading out to Seattle even here to see the Space Needle and the Pike Place Market. These are all places in the, in the U.S. that our kids will be so excited to see uh, in our country. And you touched on this earlier, but tell us exactly how technology is impacting <clears throat> travel planning. Yeah, so technology is really changing the way we think about travel. We're able to book at the last minute. We can take these apps with us anywhere we go. Um, social networks are making a big impact on how we uh, you know, think about and where we decide to go. And if you also think about like sites where you can search by destination, like Expedia, you are able to look at, does it make sense for me to book my hotel and airfare together by bundling that study actually found that you can save up to $500 by bundling your trip uh, together and purchasing airfare and hotel at the same time. So technology has a lot of, you know, great ways to save us a lot of money. Do you think the economy has had a negative effect on families when they're planning their upcoming vacations? You know, I think that people are being smarter about the uh, decisions they're making. I would say that people are still taking trips. A lot of my friends still taking spring break. They might not be doing the two-week uh, trip in Maui, but they could be taking a, a longer road trip or a couple of shorter trips during the spring. So it really just depends. Uh, I think that families also, moms especially, are super bargain hunters. So while, you know, baseball season's here, the uh, new American sport is actually vacation hunt deal hunting. 
Doctor, and what's a common a misperception or mistake people make when it comes to vacations or vacation planning? Yeah, something I hear from families all the time. Oh, it would be nice to be able to go on vacation. I wish I had the time. I wish I had the money. But frankly, if you look at your budget, I'm sure there are things that you can carve out to make travel a priority. Because the biggest mistake I believe that people make is not planning it. Because if you don't plan it, it won't happen like anything in life. And so if you don't plan that trip with your kids, they grow fast. And these memories that you make with them right now are going to be ones that they'll remember forever. And so make Making travel a priority is really important in order to, you know, grow great families and to be smarter about your purchase decisions. And before we let you go, where can our viewers go for more information about you as well as Expedia's great spring travel deals? Yeah, absolutely. So you can find family vacation inspiration on hiptravelmama.com and great deals, bargains, vacation packages, and all-inclusives at Expedia.com.